Thank you so much for joining me online. I'm Kevin Hurd and welcome to KevinTalksTech.com, my tech blog to make complicated tech topics much easier and more fun to understand. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been doing this for the last several years in all kinds of different locations too, from the living room to the tech desk as we called it. And now here we are in beautiful Sioux Falls, South Dakota beautiful Midwest and it's an October day right now the middle of October 71 degrees outside and look at it outside right now it is gorgeous you don't really get many days like this in mid-October in the Midwest where it's 71 and sunny so we're gonna take advantage of it do the tech desk as long as we can or tech deck I should say and bring you some of these episodes where we or tackle some of these tough tech topics. So first up, one that's really near and dear to my heart deals with laptops as well as CD-ROMs because this is something that I recently figured out when I bought my new HP laptop. As laptops continue to get thinner, as they continue to get easier to carry and lighter, we're noticing the CD drive on the laptops, they're starting to disappear but yet there's still a lot of people that like to have it for the DVDs. I should say DVD-ROMs mostly as they're called today. You know, people that still play computer games or they go out and buy the actual physical disc. Anyway, again, the HP laptop, no CD-ROM drive. I want to show you a solution that I looked at because a lot of companies out there offer portable CD drives and DVD drives that you can carry with you today. And I found one that I found pretty reliable so far. I've used it to watch DVDs. I've been able to load some CDs into it. It also includes DVD writing capabilities capabilities and CD ca writing capabilities as well. This is an LG Slim Portable DVD Writer. I'll give you a little look at it here in our mobile cam. You can see exactly how slim this thing really is. It doesn't weigh much either, which is something that I really, really like It's because it's easy to carry around. And it just connects to your computer using a USB port. As soon as you plug this into your laptop computer, your computer should recognize it as a CD drive. It'll pop up. It might take a few moments for it to generate but eventually you'll see that CD drive pop up on there. You're able to open it up just like this. And since I actually don't have power to it, I don't know if I can open it right now. I can't, unfortunately. But basically you'll just click this little button on here. You're able to open up the drive, put in a disc, and then just push the drive closed again. I was looking around for uh, a CD drive when I noticed that my computer didn't have one and I went on Amazon, I went on and read some articles on some other websites to find out one that would really work well for me. I stumbled across this one, it was $35 on Amazon, it ended up being $35 at Best Buy as well and so that's where I ended up getting this drive. I thought that was a fairly reasonable price and as you're looking around for a drive like this, if you choose maybe not to go with one that's made by LG, this particular model, you'll see it on your screen right now, is SP60NB50. That's the model number of this particular drive. There are a number of drives out there, but be sure to go ahead and read some reviews before you do end up buying one. Again, you don't want one of these that's flimsy. You don't want one that's got a slow read or write speed on it. You want something that's going to perform well for you. And I thought for $35, this um, performance matched up with the price really well. If you want to see a write-up of this, if that's a little bit easier for you, you can head to kevintalkstech.com where I've written down all the information that we've had in the short Kevin Talks Tech video. And don't forget, if you're watching this video on YouTube, please click the subscribe button for us. It allows me to track who's watching the videos, what videos they like to see the most. That feedback is really important to me and helps me determine some of the topics that I talk about. So thank you so much again. Appreciate it. We'll see you again next time. Don't forget to visit kevintalkstech.com.